Here now with more on the screening and the discussion happening after, we welcome Jeanette Ishii with Fresno Mineta Project Committee, Diane Fugami, director and co-producer of Norman Mineta and his legacy in American story, and Dr. Mitchell Maki, president and CEO for the Go For Broke National Education Center. Welcome all of you. How are Thank you? you? Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. We really appreciate your presence here because like I was mentioning, I feel that a lot of people aren't aware of what happened really right and doctor I know okay we want to start with the story the backstory why did you guys choose to do this story well Norman Mineta's story is a story of a young American boy born in San Jose California and then 10 years later the war breaks out World War II and he and his family are sent off to an American concentration camp in Heart Mountain Wyoming he later goes on to be an American congressman and leads the effort for the passage of the Civil Liberties Act of 1988, which provides the apology and monetary redress payments for that. But he doesn't stop there. You know, 13 years later, he serves as Secretary of Transportation, and he ensures that all Americans have our civil liberties protected, even in the threat of terrorism. And so his life is really the embodiment of America's promise, the promise that we're not going to be judged by the color of our skin, where we were born, or the God that we worship. Yeah, Mineta had an amazing story. He went from being a prisoner, basically, to a leader. Yes. It's amazing. It's amazing. And Diana, why is it important to showcase his life in a film? Well, you know, what's so unique about Norm, especially during our political climate, is his spirit of compromise and, and conciliation and also bipartisanship. And so, you know, we want to showcase that, but also show that in spite of the adversity he faced, that he continues to champion, you know, what's right, doing the right thing, and also representing the underserved. Exactly. And Janet, here in the Valley, why is it important for people to know about this? This is our story that's being told. We have so many members of our community who were in the camps, who lost a great deal of their property and and their freedom during that period of time. If we don't have a day of remembrance to recap the history and tell the stories, generations to come will not know. Exactly, and I'm glad that you mentioned the day of remembrance because you guys were invited here for a reason, right? Tell us a little bit about that. Well, this evening from six to eight o'clock at Fresno City College, we're going to be airing the Mineta, um, an American story. Um, it's his legacy, and it's because of what he did and what he believed in, and to show that you can go from concentration camp to serving under two presidents, a Republican and a Democrat. You know what? I find that really interesting like that you mentioned that because he did serve two different parties basically. They, he really did and it shows what kind of person he was, right? And well he is still, he, he's just a, a different type of individual because he could get along with anyone yes. basically. And okay, now why is it important for that film to be showcased at Fresno City College? Tell us about that. It's free to the public. This is an opportunity to educate our community about what happened in that period of time. And Norman is the focal point, but he was the one who lived through it and was able to champion changes to, to really obtain redress, which is, is very important to the Japanese American community, exactly. but it's, it's also a, an important marker for our country. Dr. Monkey, how did Mineta lead that way to, you know, get to this apology? Well, Norm was a very popular senator. He was uh, elected, uh, excuse me, congressman in 1974. He was elected. And by the time the bill started working its way through Congress, he was able to use his personal stories, his political contacts, and really help to frame this bill not as being a bill about Japanese Americans and only what happened during World War II, but we called it the Civil Liberties Act because it truly was about the Constitution and what was important to all Americans, which is protecting our constitutional rights in a time of crisis. Exactly. And Diane, okay, I have to ask this question. You know, do you think the Japanese community holds a grudge after everything that happened? 
I think what the Japanese American community is trying to do is to show that we are living examples of what can happen during constitutional violation. You know, and so Americans of uh, Americans, uh, American citizens, you know, were incarcerated. And I think what makes Norm's story especially timely now is. There's a, there's a time when, you know, right now we're politically divided. Norm has shown the importance of unity, of compromise, of working together and trying to work in a united fashion. And we need that now more than ever. And you know, I don't know if you guys find it amazing that many people don't know that this happened. Right. Right? Like, what, what do you think that needs to change for people to be aware of this history? This morning we had a, a group of students from Fresno um, Unified School District and Clovis Unified School District, and they had an opportunity to see the film and to talk about how would you feel if at your age you were told that you had to pack your belongings and you could only take what you could carry and to spend a, some up to three years. How many people were affected by this? 120,000. 120,000. Our parents, our grandparents. Wow. So you guys have that first-hand stories oh, yeah. to say. I don't know if you guys mind sharing a little bit of them. I don't know, we could start with you, Diane, maybe. You know, my mom was uh, 11 years old. My dad was 14. They didn't know what was happening to them, and they were innocent kids, as was, you know, everybody was innocent. But because they had Japanese heritage, they were deemed to be the enemy. They were called enemy aliens, and they were incarcerated. I mean, how wrong is that? And, and you know, Desiree, to answer your question earlier about how do we get uh, the yes, population yes. to know about this, I think it's because by doing the types of things that we're doing here, having public programs. Norm dedicated his career to securing justice in this nation. But I want to remind people of the words of the late Supreme Court Justice Antonin Scalia, who said before he died that what happened to Japanese Americans was wrong. But if, you're, you, if you believe that it will never happen again, you are kidding yourself. In times of war, the laws fall silent. And I think we have a responsibility on this day of remembrance to make sure that never again in our nation do we allow our laws to fall silent. Exactly. It was really nicely said because it's true. It really is. And now again, we're going to go back to the screening. Tell us about it. When is it happening in the time, please? It'll be at 6 o'clock this evening at Fresno City College, the auditorium. The uh, entrance is free to the public. And people need to attend because it's, you're learning a little bit of history there. We need to just, you know, remind them that that's the whole point of this, that if, what is that saying? Um, if you don't know history, yeah, it's yeah. You're doomed to repeat you're it. You're doomed to repeat it. It really is because, like you said, we're so divided now that sometimes we need to kind of see what happened before and kind of realize that hey, we need to kind of just. But you know, it's not just historical. It's you'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll you'll understand, and the, you'll get context, and that's what we're really hoping for. Exactly, exactly. And you'll have an opportunity to listen to Mitch <laughs> <laughs> and to Diane and, and learn more about it. And firsthand, like I said, you guys guys have stories that are firsthand because your grandparents were there, family members were there, so you guys know what exactly happened. And I think the title says it all when this is not just a great Japanese American story, this is a great American story. So everyone in that room will be able to watch it and identify with something in this story. Exactly. You guys, thank you so much for Thanks, being here. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Information, we really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Coming up, 